In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can quickly verify limits using our calculator. Now, these kinds of questions are commonly asked in the differential calculus part of paper 1 of UPSC CSE math optional. In some cases, we can easily verify using the calculator what the limit is either before you solve the problem or after you solve the problem. That's up to you. So it will only take a few seconds and it can give you a peace of mind that yes, my answer is correct. Now, let's take the first example uh, where we have to find limit tan x raised to power tan 2x at pi by 4. Now, if you use the calculator to actually find this value at pi by 4, it will give you a math error because tan 2x is infinity at x is equal to pi by 4. So, just like how we do to find out continuity or limits, we have the number line in which we have pi by 4. We either come from the left and come or, or come from the right and the value should converge to pi by 4 if the function is continuous and usually in these cases they are. So um, how we will solve this using the calculator is that uh, I am going to go to the table mode. If a calculator does not have a table mode, I am also going to show another method. So you can skip to that part. But if you have a table mode in your calculator, go to that and just write tan x raised to the power of tan 2x g of x we don't care and uh, now we have to see at x just uh, to the pi by 4 to, uh, from the left and to pi by 4 from the right how we will do that is I will show you how so firstly we have to make sure that our angle is in radian uh, so if it's not so here on top of the calculator you see r if it's not, what we need to do is shift, set up, angle unit, so 2, and choose radian. Now, I'm going to write pi by 4 Now, you see at pi by 4, it gives an error because tan 2x is infinity. But, what about at pi by 4 minus a small value? Say, for example, pi by 4 minus 0 0.0001 the value here would be 0 0.3678 what about at a value pi by 4 plus a small value so say pi by 4 plus 0 0.0001 that will also be the same so here we can say that the answer of your limit should be uh, 0.3678 and when you calculate this right you will also get the answer as 1 by e which is the same value so here we have easily verified so in the in the exam you can solve your full question whatever by whatever way you want to like l hospital or whatever but in the end we can verify it using this method um, and this works in most of the cases usually these functions are continuous only so it works now let us look at the next question uh, where you have to find x minus 1 tan pi x by 2. So same thing, let's quickly do it. So x minus 1 tan pi x by 2. Now at x is equal to 1, it is obviously an error because it is 0 into infinity. But what about at 1 minus 0 0.00001? It gives us some value at 1 point 0. So 1 plus 0 0.00001. It gives us the same value. So we can say that when we find the answer, the limit should probably be this. And when you uh, actually solve it, then it will come out to be minus 2 by pi. And if we see minus 2 by pi it's exactly the same value now let's try the third one sorry table so cos x square divided by 4x square minus pi square I think x equal to pi by 2 it will be 0 I'm just going to quickly write pi by 2 plus 
0.0001 it will give me something very close to 0 so the answer will probably be 0 only and we will also try pi by 2 plus 0 0.0001 that will also give us something very close to 0 and if you solve it completely the answer actually is also 0 so this is how we can verify it in cases where there is no jump discontinuity you will as you practice you will understand where you can use it and where you can't but uh, it's a very simple trick to uh, verify your limit apart from that if you do not have a table mode in your calculator there is one more way by which we can do this so instead of x we will use a variable a let's try the first one again so I'm going to say uh, tan A alpha A raised to the power of tan 2 alpha A. Just to be sure, I'm going to put back here. And then we'll press calc. Now they'll ask us the value of a. I'm going to give the value of a as pi by 4 minus 0 0.0001 and equal to, so that will give us the value as 1 by e, okay, which is 0 0.3678. And similarly, I can press equal to again. Now I can give the value of a as pi by 4 plus 0 0.0001. That will give me the same value. So this is another way by which we can solve this problem. We can solve the other problems in the same way. For example, cos so cos a square divided by four a square minus pi square calc a will be pi by 2 minus 0 0.01 that will give us close to 0 similarly for the rest this is how we can verify limits thank you